With this video being a unisex list, I feel like it's one that anyone can get behind if you're willing to spend the cash. Hey Flora, Manny back here with another video on the Cascade Sense Fragrance Station and this one is on my top 5 unisex fragrances over 100 US dollars. That being said, if you're on a budget or the more avant-garde stuff isn't for you, check out the description below. I also have my top 5 under 100 US dollars there too. But anyway, my criteria for a great unisex scent is really simple. Regardless of what you identify as as far as gender or sexual orientation, I think a great unisex scent is one that anyone can smell and would just think that, hey that smells great, maybe I'd wear it. Like the thought of it smelling too feminine or too masculine isn't one that just comes across in their mind when they smell it because whatever they're smelling is just that good in their non-stereotypically genderish ways or lack of genderish ways sorry so it goes without saying that every fragrance i'm about to list here as far as gender ratio is about 50 50 female to male so the order of the list is actually going to be determined by how much i like something so it's going to be from my least favorite to my absolute favorite that being said for any fragrance to make this list it's really hard anyway so i still really love the scent at the bottom which we might as well get to now here it's ombre nargale from the hermesence collection by Air Hermes at number 5. Now Hermes head perfumer Jean-Claude Elano was going for a Nargalet slash hookah-like effect with that intoxicating take on honey here and I honestly think he nailed it. Like smelling this directly off my skin I get a little bit of everything but those intoxicating elements do hit me a little later which is kind of awesome because I'm like oh my gosh it smells good and then five seconds later I'm still thinking about how good it smells but there's other things that are finally registering in my olfactory. And as someone who typically dislikes anything that is reminiscent of booze or smokiness, I can't honestly say that I feel any contempt towards this fragrance right here. So definitely an autumn all-star here. Again, it's Ombre Nargalet by Hermes at number five. Now let's move on to number four. Here's Green Montagna from the La Collection Privé by Christian Dior. We're talking a super inviting bergamot here that lasts for a few seconds, but you kind of get rushed into the really bright rose accords here. No doubt a really bold and unisex rose, which I really do love and it's super long lasting too and after a few hours with it I start to get more of the oak moss and the patchouli with how mossy and earthy it gets. Overall I just think it's a brilliant thing to take the super serious super stern cheaper like formula and just brighten it up with some androgynous and more effervescent notes. As a result in my opinion I think this is like a super inviting lady killer type scent but honestly if I were to catch this off of a woman too I'd super be taken aback as well. Like there's no way in my mind that I would think this is also a guy's scent. Altogether it's a classy kind of sexy regardless of whichever sex is wearing it. So again, it's my number four, Green Montagna by Christian Dior. Now moving on to my number three scent, here we have Like This by Etat Libre d'Orange. Now if I could describe Like This in a few words, it's super cozy and autumnal. There's even a pumpkin spice latte like vibe with it as well with some of that ginger and immortelle for some added fall warmth. Also I know I've mentioned this before when mentioning this fragrance in other videos. Now this right here is actually a signature scent developed by Etat Libre d'Orange for the actress Tilda Swinton who I'm a huge fan of. She wanted something really cozy which they undoubtedly made for her, but the fact that it's totally androgynous is super like her too because she's clearly known for that aesthetic. So it's a rather appropriate scent in the end, which I really love. That's why it's my number three, Like This by Etat Libre d'Orange. Winding down to the top spot now, here's my number two, it's Silver Mountain Water by Cream. Now you've heard me talk about this stuff countless of times, but that's because of its godlike versatility, which again makes it worthy for so many of my lists. Overall this stuff kind of opens up a little inky, but for the most part it is a tea driven scent that kind of dries down musky. The green tea for the most part is super refreshing and just makes for a really inviting and refreshing scent cloud whenever you get wafts of it. Also to note, this is one of the better performing creeds off my skin, which I really love. I love creed fragrances in general but for the most part they don't have a lot of longevity or sillage off of me or projection and I get all those things with this at least at a level that I'm more than okay with so because of that and it's crowd friendly scent it makes for again one of the most versatile fragrances I own period you already know what it is Silver Mount Water by Creed my number two now finally on to the top spot for my top five unisex fragrances over 100 US dollars and if you've been following this channel for a minute you probably already know what it is it's Gypsy Water by Byredo. Now sadly, not everyone experiences the same wonderful nuances that I get with G Water right here. I get something very lemony at first with some coniferous notes before eventually it's settling into something vanillic in a sandalwood dry down. Super cozy and creamy, definitely something that I want for the Equinox months. And when I do get whiffs of whatever stage it's in, I really can't have a bigger smile on my face here. I really won't get into that right now really just because it would take too much time. But if you are interested in those thoughts along with this fragrance altogether, I'll leave my link to its review in the description below as well. But yeah, overall though, I was actually dumbfounded when I initially researched this scent, mainly because it has such a cultish following within the YouTube beauty community. So I was expecting something really super feminine here, but I didn't get that. Just awesome stuff altogether, but again, you know I love this stuff. It's Gypsy Water by Barreto. At number one. 
So again, we have a winner here in G-Water. Tell me what you think of my picks all together in the comments below. And also tell me which unisex fragrances you're already wearing. I'd love to know too. And if you enjoyed this video and want more, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't yet. It'd really mean a lot. And now I think that officially does it. Again, check out my top five under 100 US dollars in the description below. And until then, I'll see you later. So thanks as always for your time. Take care. Peace out. Bye. Where are your fragrances?